Welcome into the video, welcome into the channel. Hope everybody's doing well out there. And if you're new to my channel, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce you to the display you're looking at on your screen. This is my 77 inch LG C2. And in today's video, I wanna talk about something called ASBL dimming and having to access the service menu on an LG OLED in order to completely disable that dimming. Now, if you're new to OLEDs in general, you're new to LG OLEDs or you're new to my channel, why would this be even a topic of conversation? And the best way for me to explain it to you quickly is that this display's primary use case was gaming and HDR gaming. And what I didn't wanna see happen was during HDR gameplay, say on a game like Call of Duty, where you have a lot of static elements on the screen, I did not want the display dimming down over time in order to protect itself. And I know protecting itself, that's a great thing for panel longevity, but the dimming distraction would be too much. So the main reason why I bought this display over some of its competitors back in 2022 was because you could easily access the service menu and turn off ASBL dimming altogether. So what do you need to do that? Well, it was as simple as going on Amazon and buying a LG service remote that looks like this right here for about $8. And uh, with a couple of button presses, you could access the service menu, turn off the dimming and have a dimming free gaming experience for the most part. Turning off ASBL dimming with a couple of settings does not impact ABL dimming, which is something different altogether. But and in today's video, I wanna revisit the service menu because when I originally bought this display, you could simply take this remote plug in a code and immediately get into the full access service menu and I could go in and make whatever changes I wanted. Well, since I've installed a software update here in the last couple of months, I now have the lockdown service menu on this display that the newer models, the current LG models come with. So for example, I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So what you're gonna do to access the service menu is you're gonna press this button right here, it's called in start. And it's gonna ask for a code. That code is the exact same for everybody. It's 0413. And this particular service menu you're looking at here is the lockdown version. In other words, you really can't do anything with this menu. And if you've bought uh, you know, a C4, a C5, something like that, this is the service menu you're gonna see. However, as you'll see later in the video, there is an unlocked version of that service menu where you could go in and turn off this dimming that can be really distracting. But I thought because I have accessed that service menu, I have disabled ASBL on this display going all the, back, all the way back to 2022, and now it's essentially been erased and I can no longer get in. What I wanna see in today's video is by unlocking that hidden service menu that I had full access to when I purchased it three years ago, I wanna see if LG has made any changes to those two settings and maybe already turned them off in the newer web OSs which is what I have on this display. This display ha now has WebOS 24 instead of 22. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna go to my PC. I'm gonna go ahead and sync that up with this display. I'm gonna use the program that I use to unlock my other LG displays. I'm gonna gain access to the full service menu again. And we're gonna go in together and see if those two settings are still turned on or are they now turned off. And what that will do for you is it will answer the age old question of, if you are really worried about something like ASBL dimming and having to access your service menu, what if LG's already turned that off upon release of the TV, these newer ones, and now you don't have to essentially hack into the service menu and thus not having to go in and put your warranty at risk because you access the hidden service menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and get myself back into this one, unlock it, and I'll pick the video up once I've unlocked this one and you'll see that unlock service menu as opposed to the one earlier in this video. Okay, I went on the program on my PC, I went ahead and synced it with this display and I have allegedly enabled the full service menu again, so let's test it out and see. So I'm gonna take the uh, service remote here and I'm gonna hit that in start button. And just as before, I'm gonna hit zero, four, one, three, and there it is. So if you recall earlier in the video, this looks very different than the service menu you saw early in the vid video, as well as if you bought a 2023 or newer model, that first service menu is the one you're gonna get out of the box. This is the one you used to get on 2020, 
uh, year 2022 models and before, this is the one you would get. But anyway, the test here is, what am I gonna find? Because in my opinion, what's happened here is once I installed a software update that integrated WebOS 24, which you see in the top left, that should bring the standard out-of-the-box settings for the ASBL dimming with that update. So I'm curious to see what these new settings look like in here now that it's been reset. So let's go down to the number 12, which is where you're gonna find these settings. And it's kind of a clunky feel, but the two settings in question here are something called TPC enable and GSR enable. And standard out of the box LG back in 2022 when I bought this display, both of these settings were checked on. And in turn, I could see dimming during gameplay, especially games with HUD displays like football games where you have a score bug at the bottom. The dimming was really aggressive in that. Once I turned off TPC and GSR, no more dimming. You know, dimming free experience except for that other one I talked about, ABL. So as you can see here, I am somewhat surprised. Both of these settings are off. Now, the question for me becomes, are these defaulting back to the settings that I had on the display before I installed this update and in turn bringing on the lock service menu? Or is this generally how LG is shipping their LG OLED displays now with turning both of these off? Since I can't specifically answer that unless I buy say a C5 or a G5 and do this test all over, I'm gonna give you my opinion on this. And my opinion is I think LG is shipping these displays with TPC and GSR off. And here's why. Back, I remember back in 2023 when they first debuted the C3 and the G3. And for those of us that really are kind of display nerds and knew that we wanted to access the, the service menu and turn these two settings off, I remember back then what a big deal it was when somebody discovered, hey, they locked down the service menu and you can no longer go in there. Oh, by the way, during certain scenes, even just watching content, let alone gaming, the display is really dimming. So LG ended up putting out an update early in the display's life cycle. And I can't recall exactly how soon, but it was within a couple of months of release that essentially, air quotes, fixed the dimming issues going on in those scenes, say on Netflix or whatever it was. And from that point on, in my opinion, and I want some comments below if you have verifiable proof if I'm wrong here, in my opinion, from that update forward on WebOS 23, my opinion is they've been shipping these LG OLEDs, whether you have a B-series, C-series, or G-series, in my opinion, they're shipping them now with TPC and GSR off. Now again, if you're somebody who can verifiably prove like, hey, I bought a, a G4 or I bought a, a C5 and I did the service menu hack, I went in there and both of those were on, leave me some comments below. Prove me wrong. But if I'm right and LG is shipping their displays now with those two settings off, this should make buyers moving forward feel a lot more comfortable about buying the LG OLED because you now don't have to take the risk of, you know, putting your warranty on the display in jeopardy by accessing a service menu that's not supposed to be for the public to turn off these settings. You don't have to worry about that because the whole reason to go into the service menu is to turn off those two settings. And if they're now coming out of the box that way, you're on easy street. That's the best case scenario. You have no reason, in my opinion, now to access the service menu and take that risk of a warranty claim being denied. So, on one hand, I'm a little iffy on whether those are just stuck to the settings I had before, but on the other hand, it's pretty exciting to see if indeed they did, quote, air quotes, correct the error of their ways and they just started shipping them out of the box that way. That is pretty awesome, guys. But that's gonna wrap up this video. But if you did find it entertaining and wanna help support the channel, be sure to hit the like button, it really helps me out. And if you're new around here, thanks for watching the video, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to click subscribe and turn on the bell. I do a lot of display content like this. I do settings videos, software updates, etc. Hit subscribe and turn on the bell. But with all that being said, until the next one.